Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on one of a set of four Halloween themed dolls where I gave these dolls some pigtails and wings and decorated them with some Halloween themed colored costumes. So this is the last one that I completed and she has black hair and her coloring is more of a simple like orangey and orange and black Halloween classic coloring. At the time I'm making this video, she is still available and you can find her listing in the Etsy shop link in the description box below. So as usual, I started out with a few coats of Mr. Super Clear and go right into the eyes. And this girl, I wanted to give her a sort of a expression of confusion or uh, kind of wonderment. So. I slanted her eyes towards the upper inside a little bit so I could shade in her upper lid to kind of make that expression. And now I'm just laying in some different shading contouring around her lower eyelid and upper lids. I'm using a burnt sienna mixed with a little bit of peach there, and this is the pan pastels. And as usual, the supplies that I used are in the description box below, along with affiliate links. So check those out if you're interested. I'm using a pan pastel custom mix of some peach and red for a sort of a natural lip, or a little bit redder than natural. And then crimson red Derwent watercolor pencil to shape that up. This is a similar look that I've done for uh, another one of the dolls. I did two with this kind of expression and then two with two different expressions. So there's uh, four different styles in the Etsy shop. So going in with some black pan pastel for the eyebrows. I always add the eyebrows after I've sealed it a couple times because I'm always needing to do some erasing to get those the right shape and length. And I went off camera to do some of the detail work with a black watercolor pencil to lay in those lash or little individual hairs. using this little micro brush to blend out the pan pastel and pencil around the nose. And just wanting that shading to kind of go towards the inner uh, forehead area to bring out that expression I'm looking for. Kind of like a scared expression, I guess. Now I'm laying in some blush with a couple of different shades of pan pastel, similar to the lip color. Blending that out with some colorless blender and a Q-tip. You can see here how it blends out really nicely with that colorless blender. So if you're having trouble blending out your blush, I would recommend that. Adding that taupey color that I made, or that uh, burnt sienna color to the ears. I need to do several layers of white before I start in on the eye color. And here I'm going in with some highlights around the eyes with the white. and the upper lip and blending those out with a colorless blender with a micro brush. Defining the eyelids a little bit with some brown and black. I'm using that Faber-Castell sharpenable pencil to uh, 
brush away some of the eraser shavings. Now I decided I wanted to give her a little bit of a smoky eye, so I'm going in with some of the black pan pastel around the mainly the outer corners. I had to do two coats of this so it would blend out pro proper properly. I wanted to make that really dark around the inside of the eye. And then I gave her a little bit of a blending color or a highlighter color there with orange, just in a Halloween theme. And blending that out with the micro brush and Q-tip and some colorless blender as well. On for the eyes, I'm doing some grays and black. This is one of my Caran d'Ache Museum Aquarelle brush, uh, colors for the gray, and then I'm using this uh, terracotta for the pupil. I'm blending that out with some orange, and those are both, both Derwent watercolor pencils. And back with the gray Caran d'Ache. It's sort of a brownish gray color. I like to use that particular Caran d'Ache pencil. Blending that out with some white and then defining the pupil a little bit with some brown and black and then adding some detail in there. just made that, uh, this is one of a, a similar face up that I've given to some other dolls but made it a little bit different with some Halloween colors. So again if you're interested in this or any of the other three, the three other Halloween themed dolls that I created for this October, they're available in my Etsy shop at the time that I'm making this video. The link is in the description box below. And if you like this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody has a great Halloween season and I'll talk to you later. Bye.